Now, the engineers uh, in the crew tend to have a, a more difficult time with this concept than everyone else, uh, but there's a good reason for it. If you remember in the kit, in, on discs number three uh, and five, I talk about, really more on disc number five, I talk about the two-to-one ratio uh, and how you know, your, your trade should have a two-to-one profit-to-loss ratio. It's not that every trade I have this rigid rule of two-to-one. What I'm looking for is a tool that keeps me out of trouble. And this is a very good example. If I'm risking 27 pips to make 35, I had better be profitable on about 80% of those trades. Now, this is an area where uh, I would say better than 87% of rookie traders just don't understand. And that has to do with performance. You and I both know that you're not performing at a peak level every single day. In fact, a good example are professional baseball players. Uh, you know, you don't have, I don't, I don't know if anybody's ever batted a thousand. You know, every single time they went to bat, they got a hit. I don't know if anybody in the history of baseball uh, who's played more than one game has ever done that. Certainly, I don't think anybody has ever done that over a season in baseball. Uh, no quarterback has ever gone an entire game, let alone an entire quarter, uh, without missing a pass or, uh, you know, a tennis player going an entire match without missing a ball. It just doesn't happen. We, we never operate at 100% of our potential. Uh, I don't even think, quite frankly, it's possible for a human to operate at 100% potential every single moment of every single day. So if that's the case, then how, how, gosh, how do I say this? Um, <laughs> how likely do you think it is that you're going to be getting 80% of these right? I mean, if you've been trading for any length of time, you know that making mistakes is just a part of life, whether it's you click buy instead of sell. In fact, I did it this morning. I was on the phone. I was trying to trade. I was distracted. Uh, I was making a quick trade on the S&P 500. I bought some contracts, and instead of selling, I bought more. Uh, and as I was on the phone, I, I was looking at my screen. I kept saying, "Why does that? You know, why is it saying? I'm, why does that say six? Uh, you know, it shouldn't say six. It should say three because I was putting on uh, three contracts at that time uh, because it was a, a quick scalp kind of trade. And I kept thinking, that shouldn't say six. Why does that say six? It